Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So I woke up today in the mood to talk about some eyeshadow palettes. So that is what we are going to do. I love talking about eyeshadow palettes. I think you guys love it when I talk about eyeshadow palettes. So we are going to be talking about five underrated eyeshadow palettes that I have in my collection that I feel need more love. So if you wanna see what those five are, then just keep watching. While I was preparing for this video, I pulled out quite a few eyeshadow palettes and I can't believe I managed to narrow it down to five. I could totally do a whole other video with another set of five palettes, but I wanted to keep it to these five. These are the ones that won today. By the way, I hope you guys are all doing well. I've had a very productive morning with like work stuff for my real job. So it really just feels good to sit down and talk about palettes. Things have been feeling more normal now. I've definitely gotten into a routine, a filming routine, a working routine. I might, haven't decided yet, but I might cut it down to five videos a week instead of six because I have a lot of schoolwork to grade. <laughs> Being a teacher online right now, it's a lot of grading, a lot of questions. So I will keep you updated on that. Obviously this week we're sticking to six uploads. Let's get into it. So the first eyeshadow palette that I want to talk about, it's actually a brand, but we're going to count it as one eyeshadow palette because all these are kind of the same. And these are the Kaleidos eyeshadow palettes. Kaleidos is an indie makeup brand and they have the most incredible, futuristic, unique eyeshadow palettes and you guys need to try them if you have not yet or if you haven't heard of them. They are a newer brand. I just think if you like Pat McGrath, like the vibes of Pat McGrath, I feel like these are very Pat McGrath-y, like a younger set of Pat McGrath. Not quite as luxurious but that same futuristic galactic kind of vibe. In their line, Kaleidos has five futurism eyeshadow palettes of different themes. I just want to share with you a few of my favorites. So the first one is the Futurism Futurism Sci-Fi Green. I featured this in the best and worst video for Kaleidos, but they really don't have a bad palette. But this one has really gorgeous green golds, so if you are into green shades, I really think you will like the Futurism Sci-Fi Green. The formulation of their eyeshadows are so good. I think where they stand out the most is their shimmer shades. They're just so metallic and foiled. The mattes are really good too, but definitely the shimmers are where they stand out. And their color choices for the shimmers are incredible. This one right here is Futurism 3 Astro Pink. I mean, come on, look at this. Today I'm feeling like this one is my favorite. The other day I was feeling green. Today I'm feeling this one. This turquoise color is incredible, as is this color right here. This is just an amazing palette. I love the mauve transition shades that they have in here. It's just these colors really tell a story. The palettes themselves are so cohesive. They create the perfect look. You don't need to think about it. If you are looking for more blue, Blue summery vibes. This one is the Electro Turquoise. How fun is this? This bright orange with this turquoise color is incredible. This glittery shade and this glittery shade are phenomenal. So they have a couple others. I'll just show you them for good measure. We have the VR Neon one, which if you like neons, this one might be a really fun one for you. And then this one was my worst of the brand. This is Cyber Bronze, but that's just because you see all of those other crazy colors color stories. This one's kind of bleh, but it's actually a really good neutral palette, so I think a lot of you might like that one. But overall, I just find the concept of the brand to be very unique, the quality of the shadows are good, and just everything is so creative about this brand. I've talked about them a few times on my channel, but they definitely are so underrated. I highly, highly, highly recommend these shadows. Let's move on to another one. These are no particular order, by the way. And I have the Vizzy Art Koi palette, and even for me, I doubted its power. <laughs> at first, but the longer I've had it, the more I've grown to love it and see its true capabilities. I have mentioned a few times before how underrated this palette is because I truly see it as such a unique palette. Now, the way that I use it and why I love it so much is because I don't just use these shades alone. Now, if you want like light pastel washes, this is a great palette for spring, by the way, but what I like to do with this is layer this 
over other shadows and then you can really get very different dimensional looks with this palette. So this is kind of like the perfect finisher that you need for a look. So especially over like a black shadow, all of these are going to create a really cool finish over the eyelid. So for example, this over black is incredible. This over black is incredible. So is the turquoise or it's even cooler if you have like matte shade that is corresponding to this color. So if you put a blue shade underneath here, if you layer this over a green shade, if you layer this over a purple shade, it really just adds so much dimension to the look. So I feel that this palette is so versatile and you don't really see that when you first look at this palette. But when you realize how creative you can get with this palette, you really see its true potential. So definitely an underrated palette from Viseart. If you ask me, it really is a great way to inspire creativity in you and to really just take your look to the next level just by popping a shade of this onto the center of your lid promise you such a beautiful underrated palette highly highly recommend the next one that we have is from pure and this is the visionary palette now i did some research on this palette and right now it looks like they came out with a new version and it's called the extreme visionary palette but the color names and the color layout looks to be exactly the same i'm not sure if there was a reformulation i hope not because the formulation on this is so good so first of all i have mixed feelings about Pure. I went through a phase when I really enjoyed Pure's products, but then I felt like it really went downhill. The quality of their products really cheapened, and I felt like they came out with like fast fashion kind of version makeup where it was like really themed and the quality wasn't that good. It was just like cheap makeup, really fast to get it out to get a quick income. But this one I felt like was a true quality palette and it really stood out to me from Pure. Even the Extreme Visionary, it's like warmer pinky tones and you have purples here as well. And the formulation on these are incredible. I don't know if you can see, but the shimmers are extremely metallic and foiled and that's how they show up as well. The mattes blend very beautifully and it's just an overall really gorgeous palette. And I reviewed this on my channel because I thought it was so stunning and it really was an underrated palette. I mean, I'm sure it was popular for them to kind of re-release it or do whatever they did. I really hope they kept to this formula because this is truly a good formula. So hopefully the new version of this palette is just as good as this one because this one is so underrated. I love this one a lot. It is stunning. The next one that we have is one that I've secretly been liking a lot. This one isn't mine. This actually belongs to my mom, but I've totally been stealing it and eyeing it for a very long time. And this is from Iconic London. This is the day to slay eyeshadow palette. I bought this at the Morphe store. I checked online. This is still available. They came out with like a new warmer peachier kind of version, a more coral. But this one just has the perfect neutrals for any neutral lover, any tone. You have mauve colors, pinky colors, golden colors, bronze colors, cool toned colors, warm tone colors. This is just such a well-rounded neutral palette. And it does look a bit soft, but I do enjoy the quality of this. I wouldn't say that the quality is incredible, but just the color selection here is awesome. You can get such pretty everyday neutral tone look. I wish I would have used this for my look today. Today, by the way, I used the Nabla Cutie Nude Palette, which I don't know. The mattes in here I don't like, but the shimmers are just so gorgeous. Anyways, off topic, but this is such a great neutral palette, and I feel like nobody talks about it, and the colors in here are just so incredible. I love the color story in here. Any tone that you need, this is a great palette definitely an underrated palette. Highly recommend. Let's move on to the last palette. This is a palette that I recently talked about in my affordable eyeshadow collection video and I said I had never used it but I was feeling inspired and I wanted to create some looks with it and I did just that and I fell in love and I feel so guilty that this has sat in my collection for months without use because I love it. And this is from BH Cosmetics. This is the Summer in Saint Tropez color eyeshadow palette. And oh my gosh, so I'm so late on the BH Cosmetic train. At this point, the train has gone away. I've heard a lot of people say that BH has gone downhill and that their stuff isn't as fun. For me, jumping onto BH Cosmetics, I'm like, what do you mean? They have great stuff. So I'm into BH Cosmetics now. And this Summer in Saint Tropez palette, I bought on a whim when I was at Ulta one day. I was like, hmm, that's pretty. And they have a lot of these like travel palettes. I have another one hanging in Hawaii, which I like, but this one I love. So it's $16. It's quite an affordable palette. And just look how pretty the color story is in here. Now you have to like colorful shades. But this palette has made me feel so inspired. There are a little bit of 
inconsistencies within the shades like this purple shade really doesn't have that much pigmentation but then the majority of the shades though I would say are really incredible these blues have a ton of pigmentation the pinks are stunning and the shimmers are also really what stand out to me the shade exotic I put this all over my lid in a blue look I'll post a picture now so stunning I just feel so inspired by this palette. I think it's a really fun one to play with this summer and I feel like I had never heard anybody talk about this palette but it really is a great affordable palette with great colors. A lot of times for more affordable brands they don't come out with colors quite so bright and execute it well. This was well executed. The shadows feel really great and you guys know I do have kind of a thing against drugstore eyeshadows. I can just feel drugstore eyeshadows and know that they're drugstore and BH doesn't have that formula for me. There have been a couple palettes that I I've experienced that I'm like mm, not very good from BH but for the most part I would say the BH formula doesn't have those typical drugstore quality that I noticed in a lot of other palettes this is really good quality I wouldn't you know it's not luxe quality by any means but I mean for the colors in here you're probably not going to wear them every day I mean if you do kudos to you but this is just a great inspiring piece to have in your collection when you do want to dip into that type of creativity and these colors especially I know a lot of you guys aren't wearing makeup but for me it's like not me up to the point like I'm at home I'm not seeing anybody and I have extra time so for me I'm like going gung-ho in my collection pulling out palettes I never use pulling out colors trying new techniques and walking around like a glam queen because why not it makes me feel good it relaxes me it's kind of a form of therapy and I just feel really good about dipping into things that I normally wouldn't that's kind of where I'm at right now that's I think what is also inspiring me to really want to talk about palettes so much is just I'm digging into my collection I'm trying things I'm retrying things I'm reminding myself what I think of products that also explains the six uploads a week you guys I am feeling so inspired there's so many things I want to talk about so as always if you have any requests you can put them down below I love fun creative videos video ideas especially regarding palettes so let me know what you guys think so that is all I have for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it it was a little bit different than what I've usually done if you aren't subscribed to my channel I hope you guys take the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys have a good one